Hi, um, I'm Desiree. I'm a Tupperware consultant, and I have my two Tupper chefs here. Athena and Levi. Levi. So today we are going to show you the Microco Grill and make some delicious chicken fajitas in your microwave. I know, right? So let me tell you a little bit about our Micro Pro Grill. It's a pretty revolutionary product here. It's got about seven patents pending. We have a grill plate on the front and on the inside. It's kind of rubbery so that you can pick this up when it's hot. It can go in the grill position, which kind of goes flat onto your sandwich, your meat, your vegetables, whatever, or you can turn it sideways and it kind of rests in a casserole position on the top. So it's not just for meats or vegetables, you can also do desserts in here as well. It's a pretty neat product. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and show you how to make some quick and easy chicken fajitas. Um, so I have our mandolin and I have um, put the settings here on, let's see, I chose six and I wanted a little bit thicker for my fajitas. Yes, and there's my slide. So I'm going to turn this around so I can use it this way. And I have um, already cut up some of onion and green bell pepper, so I wanted to show you red bell pepper. So you literally just lay it right on the top and slide it down. Make it nice and chunky. Now you don't want to get too close to the blade here. And um, the top has little spikes in it. Kind of hard to see, but uh, when you pull this up, you'll see the spikes in it, so it'll grab the food. There we go. All the way to the end. Okay. So here's our pile. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, peppers! All cut up for us. So we're going to toss this in that cute shape. We're going to toss that in with our onions and our green bell peppers. Kind of throw that in there. You, know, you, can use, you can use the mandolin for anything for french fries, um, vegetables. Uh, anything you can think of that you want to cut. It even comes with a Jillian, a Julian, sorry, um, feature as well to do the crinkle cut. And that's pretty neat. So we've got our peppers and stuff in here. Um, who's doing the vegetables? No, I am. Okay, so will you add um, half of a tablespoon of our taco seasoning? Um, you can use fajita seasoning, taco seasoning. I make my own because Tupperware had gave us a recipe of theirs, and I like it so much. So just put a half of a tablespoon in there. Okay. About half of one. It smells so good. Okay, that should be good. Okay, sprinkle it on there. And I chose these bowls because I'm having the kids help me. And so I'm going to put the, the lid on for them. These are our pressure bowls. And will you shake that up for us? Give it a good shake and mix it all up for us. There you go. So you don't even have to stir. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cook our vegetables first. And we're going to go ahead and place them in here. No oil or nothing needed. Just place it right in there. Oh, it smells good. It does smell good. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the microwave for just a few minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, so the vegetables are cooking for three to five minutes, depending on your microwave and how you like your vegetables, if you like them a little crunchy or kind of soft. So while that's cooking, Mr. Levi here is going to go ahead and help me season up our chicken and get that ready for the grill next. So in this bowl... Is a whole lot of chicken. Yes. You can use um, chicken tenders um, or breast and cut them up. I used uh, about a pound of chicken breast that I sliced into smaller fajita pieces. Can you put one tablespoon of our seasoning in there? Okay, good heaping tablespoon. Oh, that's good. That's okay. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and add um, a little shaking to this. There we go. Will you shake that up for us? Yeah. So we put our vegetables in um, for five minutes. And I just want to show you guys it's hot, but it's yummy. Yum. That you can pick it up. And look at that. They're even got grill marks on them, too. Can you see that? So I'm going to set those in the bowl to the side for now. 
Okay, get all the juices, juices out. Okay, and now we're going to add our chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a good toss for seasoning here. Make sure every piece has got a good amount of seasoning on there. Okay. I put the onion just fell out and I ate it and it actually tastes really good. Yay! Okay, so we got our chicken all coated in there. I'm going to go ahead and slide that in there in a nice thin layer if you can. Just don't want to put too much in there. Okay. Oh, I love these spatulas. Did you know you could cook with them? So excited. Okay, so now, take that little piece off there. I'm going to put this in the grill position, and we'll see you right back. Okay, guys, um, so we did the chicken for five minutes in the grill, in the grill position, and I don't know if you can hear it, but... It's, it's sizzling. It is sizzling. Okay, y'all ready? Pull it away from you. It's so tender. Y'all, look at that. It you, looks like cinnamon You want to cook it till the, the, it. the juices run clear. You know your chicken's done. We right. have our meat. You can even place your vegetables back in here. Put those in there. Throw the grill back on for just a few minutes. And let it kind of all heat together. Do, do a dollop of daisy. We have our tortilla. We let our vegetables rest for just a second on here. Finish warming them up. And we're going to go ahead and plate a couple pieces of chicken. Some delicious vegetables there. Just maybe a little red pepper in there. And here's where you can add your cheese, sour cream, salsa, whatever you like. And dinner is done. Thank you, guys. That looks so good. Bye. 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 You didn't wave.